Oh, this next lady coming to the stage. Very, very funny. Very, she used to have her own show called Thea. I know y'all gonna enjoy it. She's from Washington, D.C. Y'all put your hands together for Thea doing you all right what y'all been y'all what y'all been doing you've been throwing up what you been doing i know you're hungry we're gonna talk a little later I'll, i'm gonna digress from it i'll get back to you bony later on i i love you uh, i miss I, I thank you so much i need to talk to the women for a minute forget the men you know how when your stomach is bloated and your breasts are sensitive and it feel like somebody hitting you in the gut five or six times. Yippee, I'm fixing to start my period. If I could kill three or four men right now, I sure would feel better about myself. I am so sick of television acting like being on your period is some romantic thing. Ain't no riding no horse when she start her period. Ain't no swimming in the Caribbean when she start her period. You know blood attracts sharks. She ain't got no business being in the water. Why you want to mess up everybody else vacation? You want to show me some real stuff? Show me a woman in a bed with a heating pad, some hot tea and a joint. Show me her. You want to show me some real stuff? Show me a man sitting in the car with his three kids talking about, we got to stay at the motel because mama tripping. <laughs> Men, you have no clue how hard it is to be a woman. It is constant tedium. You want big breasts, a flat stomach, a big ass. You got a small but we still love you. Now, I need to talk to the white peoples for a minute. I need to apologize to you. I thought the sniper was y'all. <laughs> Hell, you thought it was y'all too. I saw you watching MSNBC scared. The sniper is a single white male from the age of 22 to 47. He is bipolar, he is manic depressive. He's not good with women. He may have a friend with him and he wears blue socks. <laughs> Then they found out it was us. Oops. You know how they caught the sniper? Taking a nap in the park. Ain't that just like a to go to sleep on a job? If you're gonna be a serial killer, be a serial killer. Do your homework. Watch Forensic Files. Now, white folk, I got to tell you something else. Osama bin Laden, he ain't mad at us, he mad at y'all. Y'all got a problem. There's a lot of Puerto Ricans and is late for work that day. Now you know why we don't come to work early. Cause no good can come of that. I don't care for our president. I support the truth, but I don't care for our president. If you voted for Bush, you can kiss my behind, do you understand me? If you voted for Bush, you get what you deserve. If you are poor and you voted for Bush, be prepared to stay poor. If you're middle class and you voted for Bush, be prepared to start being poor. If you're a woman, you better watch who you sleep with because your womb is not your own. If you're gay, go back in the closet. And if you're black or Latino, assume the position. All I got to say after watching this administration is will the real Slim Shady please stand up? Because President Bush is a shady piece of work right there. And President Bush is talking about starting the draft. And I don't believe in the draft. I'm going to tell you why. Not as long as we got prisons full of people who like to kill folk. Let them go fight. Let them fight. Let them go. 
And if y'all win, you can have some property over there. I got children. I have children. Uh, I don't like my children. I had them because I needed to look like I was busy. I'm very angry at one of my daughters right now. Hellfire. I told, I'm digressing. I'll be back. I told your tail to come here at 7.30. Did I tell you to meet me at 7.30? And then your monkey ass, you and Dumb and Dumber, y'all brought seven more people with you? Did I tell you to do that? I'm gonna whip your tail when I get off this stage. Now on with the show. Anyway. Oh, that's one of my twin girls. Kayla, don't start, I'll get you. That's my little daughter's roommate. I like to mess with them. I decided on TV, that's a good way to get her back. <laughs> I got stretch marks on my belly, look like the Allegheny River. That's what least I can do to you. <laughs> I love my children. I love them as much as any woman in this world could love her children. I remember the first time I held my baby in my arms. You remember that? And you're holding this baby, and you and your husband or your baby daddy, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> and I want to digress for a minute. I'm sick of you young girls getting on TV talking about you don't know who the father of your child is. If you don't know who the father of your child is, you are a pathetic excuse for a woman, and they should take your shit away from you till you get your together. Now, anywho, and you're holding that baby and you feel so blessed. And I know you men don't know this, but when we have your children, we fall in love with you all over again. And you look at that baby and say, oh my God, look at you. You're perfect. You have 10 fingers and 10 toes and an eye in the middle of your head. <laughs> but daddy got insurance, we gonna get you another eye. Yes, we are. <laughs> and then you get that baby home and you can't wait for it to walk and then you can't wait for it to talk and then you can't wait for it to shut up and pack it <laughs> and get the hell out. <laughs> and that's all between the ages of one and three. And then you send your child to kindergarten. And that's where you send your child to go to draw 1,500 pictures a week of that you don't even know what it is. <laughs> and if you ask them what it is, they get pissed off. But you know what's really bad? They show that same picture to their grandmother and the bitch know what it is. <laughs> and, then, and then they go to elementary school and they come back with the information. You know what that is, don't you? They told us at school, if you hit us with a belt or a switch or an extension cord and leave marks on our bodies, then we can call an 800 number and the police will come and take you to jail. <laughs> you gotta make it to the phone. And then, and then something evil happens. Those precious babies you brought home, that ain't them. This is a thing. This is a hell spawn. This is a teenager. The most ungrateful creature God ever let draw breath. And if you are a parent of a teenager, I want you to know that I have started the Underground Railroad for us. We heading for the river tonight. Keep low, keep the moon at your back. If you get lost, read the quilt, it's a map. Now, I can help you with your teenage problem because I got four grown children. I had five, but a talk when I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I, I can help you when you have teenagers, you and your husband got to be like a fist. Are you not in the front? And when you have teenagers, you got to speak the language of teenagers. When a teenager goes, you, when they go, whatever, that means you. Surprise the ass back and go, you too, What the you want to do, my friend? Let me space up between you and him. How you living? How you living? Thank you for letting me be myself.